hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel so kings and queens your girl is back with another word today but um before i get started if you are new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so they can be notified every single time i drop a new video so kings and queens i'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into today's word so proverbs 10 verse 4 says lazy hands make for poverty but diligent hands bring wealth so it says lazy hands make for poverty but diligent hands bring wealth so god says that you cannot afford to be lazy in this season he says that you cannot afford to forfeit your destiny you cannot afford to for forfeit the blessing that he has for you god says that some of us we know that we are gifted we know that there is a great anointing in us but god says that some, we have been lazy in the spirit some of us feel as though that we are not worthy of the anointing but god says that if you weren't worthy of it he wouldn't have placed it in you so god says that you must go after everything that he has destined for you to do god says that you must go after everything that he has destined for you to be in this season kings and queens i don't know who has been lazy in the spirit but god says that you cannot afford to be lazy I rebuke the spirit of laziness off of you right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of procrastination. God says that you must get out of that bed. You must get out of, he says that you must get off that couch and get in your word. God says you must get in your purpose in this season. I don't know who this is for, but God says that you cannot afford to forfeit your blessing. You cannot afford to, for, to forfeit the blessing that God has for you in this season. Kings and queens, God says that your family is relying on you. God says that you are the generational curse breaker of your family so he says that in this season he says if you can break out of that curse he says that your children children would not have to deal with this with this generational curse he says that your children's children's children will be blessed in this kingdom god says that your 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 blessing is gonna your 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 anointing is going to bring generational wealth. He says for he says diligent hands bring wealth. So God says if you want to be lazy, he says that he says that that's going to bring bring poverty. He says that in this season you cannot afford to be lazy. So kings and queens, we must get up and get in our word. We must get up and get in our purpose. God says that you must go ahead and start that ministry. Go ahead and start that YouTube channel. Go ahead and start that business. He says that people are relying on you. He says that people in this season, they're looking up to you. He says even your haters, even your haters, they, they're, they're mimicking what you do. Even your haters are waiting on you to shine. So God is saying you cannot afford to give up on this thing. He says, though it might be hard, though you might feel as though sometimes you don't want to do it, God says that you must continue to press forward. He says that you must continue to get in your word. He says that this is going to bring generational wealth. Aren't you tired of struggling? Aren't you tired of working from paycheck to paycheck? God says that he has given you the platform. All you need to do is is all you need to do is do the work. God says that YouTube, do you not know how much income you can bring in through YouTube? Just even being a full-time entrepreneur, God says that you can bring in so much generational wealth. He says that your, your finances will be overflowing. He says, but first you must tap into that very thing that he has destined for you to be. God says that you are gifted in the spirit. He says for your name, he says your anointing holds weight in the kingdom. Do you not know who you are god has shown you time and time again who you are in the kingdom god has given you the signs he has given you the vision but he says that some of us ignore the vision because we are scared to begin that thing some of us ignore the vision because we are scared of the of the potential that we have in the kingdom so god is saying that you must continue to get up each and every day and perform the thing that he has destined for you to do god says he says for the sky is the limit heaven is the god is saying that heaven is the only way that you want to go god says that you don't want to miss out on the blessing that he has for you god says that your family is relying on you in this season so kings and queens go ahead and jump start your purpose go ahead and begin that thing because god says in this season he says that the diligent hands will bring wealth so if you are tired of struggling or if you are tired of working on that nine to five job god says that you must get in your purpose I don't know who this is for, but I hope this video has spoke to you. I hope that you have learned something from this. And God says that your light is about to shine.